There are some Wukong changes at long last, where people have been asking for those, by the way, that have been revealed in detail today, but probably won't be more in-depth until at least Friday and maybe into next week. So with that being said, if you enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, make sure to follow on Twitter and follow the stream, and let's just jump into the video. So that being said, there is a post by Riot Meddler on the Wukong mains subreddit that reads like this. Context post and changes on PvE this coming Friday or Monday probably. Edit. Looks like the next valid PvE deploy is Tuesday, so sorry about that extra day folks. We'll share a few more bits here if time permits to fill the time. So hey folks. Dropping by to let you know there'll be a bunch of details plus playable changes on the PvE shortly. Aiming for Friday, possible ends up early next week though. Those changes are still unpolished, using art from other champions, haven't been through balance testing, some numbers might be wrong, some known bugs. So this isn't getting ready to be shipped the following patch, but instead to get wider feedback. I'll drop by here in addition to other places, if you want to discuss. In terms of scopes of changes, there'll be meaningful mechanics changes worth talking about on the passive. Q. W and E. The ult is basically unchanged. Largest change is probably to the W, where the clone lasts a bit longer, invisible duration unchanged, and instead of standing there then exploding eventually, it auto attacks nearby enemies, percent of Wukong's AD applied on hits. It doesn't move, but animations have been changed so Wukong's pushing S, and the clone cast can't be Englishly Englishly distinguished. It's just easily distinguished, but I messed that up and merged the words together. We're just gonna roll with that. Increase to dash distance on W cast as well. 200 instead of 100. More details on that. Goals, other context, etc. Soon. And also, we switch over to Spider Axe 30's tweets. Some upcoming changes to Wukong include allowing his clone to auto attack for percentage of his AD rather than doing the staff whirl, as well as increasing his dash range by 100 soon. It all hits the PvE on Tuesday as well as another context post. And so then, of course, I ask, you know, <laughs> what do you think about doing making a video worth it now or nah? Basically not now probably, because there will be actually more context following up later, obviously on that Tuesday. There will also be some Diana changes for those who have been maybe wanting some Diana changes. But part of the reason I am making this video now is just because, you know, maybe if you've been wondering about some Wukong changes, they also mention, you know, oh, and since I don't think it was clear, it's the dash range on W. He's still getting changes on the other aspects of his kit. And also that way, if you're just someone who just really wants some knowledge on this champion, like you've been asking about the champion, maybe here's a little bit to let you know, hey, on Tuesday, Keep, you know, an eye out, keep your ears on the horizon or something like that, however the saying goes. There are some changes coming to the champion and you might be interested in them, as well as Diana changes. So there you go for Diana as well. But that's going to be all for this video, because mainly what I want to do with this video is now that you have that knowledge, ask you, you know, what do you think of these changes? Whether you play the champion or even if you just rarely see the champion, do this just sound like changes that would put him in a better spot? And even, do you even want to see him more often? Do you actually, like, really hate playing against him because he counters a lot of what you like to play? And actually you're seeing this and you're just dreading what coming in this whole experience with that being said thank you so much for watching this video again make sure to like comment subscribe hit the bell notification because it's the actual subscribe button because youtube somehow broke that so i don't know which video will be next because i can have a lot of kinks so until this time take care gg get jinxed thank you for watching and enjoy pizza responsibly